again, this is black gum or Nyssa sylvatica. It's actually a fairly common tree that occurs throughout much of Ohio. It's probably more common down here in the southern part of the state where our soils are more acidic and it seems to do quite well in those conditions. Um, it's very common out there, but many folks aren't familiar with it. It's kind of the tree that hides in plain sight. Um, what makes it kind of hard? There's nothing that really pops at you to say, oh, that's black gum. But ho hopefully I can give you a few ID tips that'll help with that. First of all, it has simple alternate leaves. So the leaves have a single leaf blade and typically the edge of the leaf is entire or has no teeth. Occasionally you'll have a few extra teeth near the tip, um, but more commonly it'll have that uh, entire margin without teeth. Kind of a thick, glossy leaf. Um, it's really shiny, you can see right now. And then it's getting a few clues as to what this is gonna look like here in probably less than a month or so. It's actually right around the 1st of August now. You're starting to see a few tinges of red. This is one of the trees that turns probably the earliest of all trees and it will become brilliant red, usually late summer to early fall and then the leaves go fairly quickly. So again, simple leaves, entire margin without teeth, except occasionally you'll have some extra teeth at the tip. Another great ID characteristic to help separate this from say persimmon is the buds. The buds are multicolored and lots of scales. So you're gonna count multiple scales and you're gonna have a mostly green bud with edges that are kind of brownish or purplish and usually a tinge of yellow as well. So multicolored bud is a great ID characteristic. Another ID characteristic is the leaf scar. So when leaf falls off in the fall, you're gonna have a scar that's the mirror image of the base of this leaf. Um, that leaf scar has typically three bundle scars. So the bundle scars are dots that you see in the leaf scar. And that's where the leaf again attaches and where water is transported from the twig out to the leaf so it can transpire and give off the water vapor and take up the carbon dioxide. So again, the leaf scar has three bundle scars, another great ID characteristic. Another thing I'd like to mention are these droops or fruits. Right now they're green in color. They're about a quarter of an inch in length. They'll get a bit larger than that, maybe three eighths to a half inch in length. Um, they're actually very good for wildlife. They'll turn a dark color in the fall. It's a droop, it has a hard seed, but they're high in fat. So late in the, in the growing season when most fleshy fruit is gone, what we call soft mast is gone, this fruit becomes available, it's high in fat. It's really pretty valuable for songbirds especially to consume. So again, this is black gum Nyssa sylvatica. So one of the identification characteristics that we as foresters use to identify this tree, especially in the winter months when the leaves are gone, are the branches which are horizontal. Uh, many trees form a branch that's more like a upward angled branch. It's about a 45 degree angle. These tend to be closer to 90 degrees and you'll see quite a few branches that look that way. A great ID characteristic for black gum. And you'll get this blocky bark that occurs on black gum. Again, this is Nyssa. Sylvatica.